Hi, welcome to Insta Freebie Leads Explosion. My name is Paul Teague. I'm the self-published author of several fiction and non-fiction books. And in this particular case, I'm going to deal with fiction books because when you self-publish your first fiction book in whatever genre it is, your problem as an independent author is that you are an unknown writer right at the bottom of a pile of a, a very deep and popular genre. So for instance, The Grid and The Secret Bunker trilogies are both science fiction. Science fiction is a vast genre with very many famous authors. And when I write my first science fiction book, I'm right at the bottom of the pile. Nobody knows who I am. And my challenge as a self-published author is to try and get my piece of the pie, however small that piece of the pie is, and to get my name and my books out there. And it's the same with my crime and thriller books that I'm writing, the Don't Tell Meg series on the top left there, and Dead of Night, my standalone thriller. My problem is that no one knows who I am when I start writing crime and thrillers. They all know about Lee Child and all the, the popular authors. And somehow I have to claw my way through all of that and, and to get people to find my books and to start giving them a try. And the reason I'm doing this presentation today is because I've tried all the, the buzz techniques of the moment. I've tried Facebook ads, I've tried Twitter and Twitter ads, and I've tried Amazon ads. And I have never found as a, as a new author, as a, an author who's not yet established, something better than Insta Freebie. It's extremely cheap. And I have to say, I think you'd have to either try very hard not to make it work for you, or you would have to be writing in an extremely obscure genre for it not to work for you. But if you're writing something that's reasonably mainstream, I think you'd have to try very hard not to get some benefit out of using Insta Freebie. And in actual fact, you can get huge benefit out of using Insta Freebie without even having to part with a penny, which has to be good news. So let's talk about Insta Freebie then. This is what it looks like when you go to instafreebie.com and I've put two links on there. There's my referral link and the Insta Freebie link. So use whichever one uh, you choose to use there. And Insta Freebie allows you to build an audience as a self-published author in a number of ways. So first of all, if you use the free account at Insta Freebie, it will let you give away digital versions of your books or extracts or previews, that's quite important later on as I'll explain, for free. Now, if you upgrade, if you go to the $20 a month account, you can actually then give those away for free in exchange for an email address. Now, I'm not going to go into the whys and wherefores of why you need to build an email address. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this presentation, you understand that it's really important to build a list of email addresses of prospects and readers because that's going to help you every time you release a new book to be able to sell it. It means that you've got a, a list of enthusiasts, of hungry buyers ready to buy any future books that you read. But I'm not going to go into that in any great detail. I'm going to assume that you already know the benefits of building an email list as an author. The other thing about Insta Freebie is it allows you to generate some referral income by promoting the service. On the previous slide, I showed you my promotional link and I showed you the normal link. I am what's called an affiliate marketer and I would urge you to uh, investigate affiliate marketing as an indie author because it's a way that you can make additional income by referring products that you use and recommend. So if you were to buy Insta Freebie through my link, I can't remember what the, the kickback is that I get it. I get a small kickback, which then in turn subsidizes my own subscription. So Affiliate marketing is quite a nice little technique to use, but if you like Insta Freebie and it's something that you can recommend, you could also use it to subsidize your own uh, monthly referrals. And of course, when you buy through somebody's affiliate link, they don't pay any extra for it. Uh, so they don't, they're not getting a disservice in any way. Uh, they're getting the same service, same price, uh, but the person who referred them is just getting a small kickback from that. Insta Freebie also allows you to distribute free copies to beta readers or competition readers in a secure way. So rather than just sending them an email of an EPUB or a Mobi file, this is in a managed way using the Insta Freebie software. It also makes the sharing of digital file types much easier. Now, I don't know whether you've ever had to try making Mobis and EPUBs and, and PDF files. It's, it's not for the faint-hearted often, and if you're new to self-publishing, it can be quite hard to do. Whereas what Insta Freebie does is it just lets you upload a file and it takes care of all the technical issues for you, which is always fantastic. Now, again, I'm not going to go into digital rights management, DRM, but you do have 
optional DRM, digital rights management with InstaFreebie. You can turn it on or you can turn it off, depending on which side of the fence you sit on as far as digital rights management is concerned. And also, uh, this is always really important because not everybody has an Amazon Kindle device. Many of us are reading on our mobile phones. We're reading on Kobos, um, you know, and, and Nook devices, <laughs> if you've still got one of those. Um, so it allows readers to access your eBooks on multiple devices. And that's always going to be a good thing. So why would you use InstaFreebie then as a self-published author? Well, when you use InstaFreebie with InstaFreebie giveaways, and this is going to be the core of what I'm teaching you today, I'm going to try to encourage you not only to sign up for InstaFreebie, I want you to take part in InstaFreebie giveaways. Now, this can help you to massively increase the size of your email list in a very, very short period of time. And these InstaFreebie giveaways are very targeted at genre specific readers. So if you go back to what I was saying right at the beginning of this presentation, when I write my first sci-fi novel, no one knows who I am, even though sci-fi is a very lucrative, very popular genre, no one knows who I am. And my struggle as an independent author without a publisher behind me and a marketing machine is to get people to find me and to give my books a try. Insta Freebie helps with this by putting my book in the flow, in front of the eyes of many people who love sci-fi books, crime books, romance books, whatever genre you write in. So you can use InstaFreebie to distribute free books as a new author to get some initial reviews and traction when you have a readership of zero. So, so many people, when they self-publish their first book, think that the, the actual journey, the challenge, is actually to just self-publish the book. They self-publish the book, think that people are going to buy it, and then find that nobody buys it. The reason that nobody buys it is because nobody can find it. And this is the constant problem that we have as, as unknown indie authors. But with InstaFreebie, you can find readers, initial readers for your books, starting from a baseline of zero. That's very attractive, I think, as an independent author. Now, the other thing is, is that InstaFreebie is cheaper, it's more scalable, and it's simpler than any other book promotion tool that's currently available. So if you uh, have had a go at uh, Facebook ads, for instance, usually in for a couple of hundred pounds, most indie authors don't have that, not if they're paying for editors and covers and all the things that make sure that their book is the highest quality. Same with Amazon ads, you're in for at least $100 before you even draw breath because Amazon, uh, certainly I don't know whether this has changed since I last tried them, but they were asking you to put a credit of $100 on uh, when I last uh, tried Amazon ads. But all the time, uh, again, usually as inexperienced indie authors, when you pay that much money for advertising, even though it can work with the correct training, um, it's a lot of money and you have to have quite an appetite to watch that advertising spend burn up before your eyes. With InstaFreebie, you can get results for free or at a maximum of $20 for a month. And if you've tried Facebook ads, you'll know that's peanuts compared to what you would spend to get Facebook ads going for you. It requires very little tech, uh, technical knowledge. So if you could make an eBay listing, if you could post a photograph to Facebook, then you could use InstaFreebie. It's very point and click simple. Uh, so you don't need to be a technical genius, which is always good news for many authors. It handles all of that tech for you. It's just a very simple listing, which InstaFreebie will guide you through. And even if you get a free account on InstaFreebie, you list a book and you just leave it there. This is one of the surprises I got when I started using it. I thought I was going to have to do something with InstaFreebie, but I got people looking at my book even without promotion, just by listing it. And to be honest with you, you know, there must be a marketplace. There must be a way of people browsing through Insta Freebie to find your book. But um, I wasn't even sure how they did it at first, but I got lots and lots of readers without doing anything before I'd even started to promote. Uh, and I was talking to an author the other day who didn't realize that you could do or use Insta Freebie with giveaways. And I think she'd got about 300, in between 300 and 350 new subscribers from Insta Freebie simply by listing her book and doing nothing else. And that's pretty compelling, I would say, as an independent author. Particularly if I tell you that when I started in internet marketing, it was about 2008, 2009, sometime around that time, it took me, with zero knowledge and not knowing what tools were available, it took me a year to build up a email marketing list of 25 subscribers. A year <laughs> and some of those unsubscribed in the meantime so I've been doing this for quite a long time InstaFreebie is a pretty compelling prospect the other thing about InstaFreebie there are always little benefits from from using tools like this and I just wanted to show you this little sideline that I realized the other day that 
Um, again, if you're an independent author, often you don't have an author platform. Often you won't have got your website set up yet. You won't have got your Twitter account or your Facebook account. The fabulous thing about being listed on Insta Freebie, and you can see it there in the Google search results. Um, I can't remember what the search was I did here. Probably Paul T. Don't Tell Meg. It was probably something like that. Um, but it brought up, it brings up my Insta Freebie listing. So being on Insta Freebie actually gives you what I call search engine juice. It means that your book can be found within the search engines. And as, again, as a, a new author, that's a pretty compelling thing. It usually takes a little bit of knowledge of SEO, search engine optimization, and how to create websites and things if you've got to do it yourself. Whereas I've got that link, that lovely little link, promotional link in the search engine in Google, simply by listing a book on Insta Freebie. They have taken the strain for me. So that's just a little convenient sideline with Insta Freebie. What I'm recommending that you do with Insta Freebie is to start with the basic free package. There's no point diving straight in and spending money before you've even found that you can use it. So just dive in, get a free account. It's free forever. You can use it with one pen name and one author page, which frankly is quite enough for most people. And I want you, hopefully as a result of this presentation, I hope you'll be inspired then to upgrade to the plus account, which is $20 a month, particularly when I show you how far that $20 could go. Now, I have a few pen names, and probably I could use the $50 a month, but I think you've got to be doing some serious traffic to be paying $50 a month for this service. So that's not attractive to me, even with multiple uh, pen names. It doesn't really trouble me. I'm very happy at the $20 rate, and I think that's really where you need to sit with this. Now, here's my top tip. If you follow the advice in the presentation that I'm going to show you, if you take a month's free trial of PLUS, so there is a, th a free 30-day trial, you can see it right at the bottom of the page there, bottom right-hand corner. If you take a free trial, before you take that free trial, make sure that you can schedule over the course of a month, two to three, maybe even four if you're lucky, two to three events in that time. This is if the $20 fee is an issue. And I reckon, so long as you are not in some really obscure genre, because we could never beat that if it's a really obscure genre that very few people read it, but so long as you're in a generally uh, populist genre, I reckon that for free, following the advice of this presentation, you could get at least a thousand new leads for free in that time using an Insta Freebie Plus account. It's extremely easy to do, and I'm going to show you the evidence about how fast people are gaining subscribers in these Insta Freebie giveaways. So let me just tell you where I come from with this, because as soon as I saw Insta Freebie, I looked at it and thought, wow, this is very interesting. And, and actually, because I'm able to do all the geeky stuff, I took part in a couple of Insta Freebie giveaways. I saw how quickly I could build my own email subscribers in a giveaway. And I thought to myself, actually, the real power of this is being the guy or the gal who actually runs the giveaways, who organizes the giveaways. Because not only do I get this huge amount of web traffic on the, on the pages, uh, and I obviously get to build my own leads, my own lists of email subscribers, um, but also it's brilliant for networking. I, I run a podcast and Clearly, I'm emailing and talking to the authors that I'm organizing these events for. And I've just found it a really great way of networking and, and, and finding authors in my genre. So it's I've had all these extra benefits because I've also hosted the giveaways as well as taken part in them. Now, just to give you a sense of, of where this is going, I have now run um, three giveaways. Uh, the first one was a sci-fi and dystopian giveaway. I think it had about 35 about that number of people uh, on that giveaway. I've run a, a crime and thriller giveaway, and then I've just run a what I call a big hitters giveaway, a crime and thriller giveaway, where I only admitted people who had very big email marketing lists. Now, over the course of just three giveaways, I've had 50,000 page views over my site, on my site, where I run those giveaways, 50,000 page views. So there is a tremendous amount of web traffic going on when you even host these giveaways. A lot of web traffic going around. So you can have a look at my site at freebiebooks.com if you want to have a look at what one of those giveaways looks like. Now, let me go through the maths here. So I'm going to use a giveaway that I took part in 
in March, only because I can give you the figures and I track the figures and, and I can just give you the maths on this. So I, uh, in, in the giveaways that I took part in in March, so it cost me $20 for Insta Freebie. And remember, if you take a free trial, if you'd have done these, these giveaways yourself in March and taken the free month trial, this would actually have cost you nothing. But I was paying $20 for my month of Insta Freebie. I ran two giveaways in March, and these are the leads that I got in March. So I got 1,920 leads over those giveaways in March. So $20, the cost of using Insta Freebie to do that, divided by 1,920, is 0 0.01 cents per lead. Okay, it's peanuts per lead. And I've put on the bottom left-hand screen that I've shown you my GetResponse account to just show you, to confirm to you that those were the leads that I got in a period of a month. So I use March just because I've got all the numbers and it's very easy to show you the numbers there. So that is a phenomenal number of leads. When you think that it, it took me a year to get 25 leads before I knew how to do this, nearly 2,000 leads in a month for $20. And if you use my tip and do those, you know, do a couple of giveaways over the course of a month using the free trial, just imagine what that's going to do for your targeted email list of subscribers. Now, to compare this, I have also done Mark Dawson's excellent course on Facebook ads. Uh, I've also, I'm just about to do his, <laughs> his no doubt excellent course on Amazon ads. So you can learn to do this. And I've also put a little note there to say, look, these are the results I got when I did Facebook ads. And I've put a note there to say, look, I might be absolutely rubbish at doing Facebook ads. Okay, so there, there'll be people who look at the what I'm costing per lead, what I get per lead on Facebook and saying, Paul, you're doing it wrong, you're rubbish, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, but I have been through a course for this. And, and I just wanted to give you some average costs uh, as me as no expert. This is what I've been paying to get a lead on Facebook. So you can see there, depending on the different ads, uh, you know, 64 pence, 76 pence, 55 pence per lead, 69 pence per lead. What's the lowest we've got there? 60, uh, 25 pence per lead is the lowest I've managed to get it per lead there. Compare that with what I'm paying on Insta Freebie. And then take a look at the amount spent on Facebook to get those leads. 96 pounds, 62 pounds, 62 pounds, 58 pounds, 52 pounds, okay? So I'm spending a lot more, I'm laying out a lot more cash on Facebook to get a lot less for a lot more money. Whereas on Insta Freebie, it costs me $20 and it's costed me peanuts to get those leads. And those leads have come specifically for books in my genre, either sci-fi or crime and thrillers, which are the genres I write in. So they're what we call targeted leads. Those leads like thrillers, crime books, and sci-fi. They don't like romance, they don't like literary fiction, well, they might like that, but they specifically like those genres that I've targeted them for, which means when I send them uh, emails about future books that I write in those genres, they are more likely to buy those books. Okay, so, um, I like to be completely transparent with this. Let me tell you a couple of things I don't like about Insta Freebie um, because I am getting very excited about it, obviously. I want to let you know the things that I'm not so keen of on with Insta Freebie. One of the things that authors say to me when they ta take part in my giveaways is that you know often we just advertise by covers. I would like Insta Freebie to use the book blurbs that you write, but I think uh, as far as I've seen and, and listened to interviews that research shows that uh, you know listings are generally better without in that um, you know the less information you give people, the more signups you get, the more friction you create in that sign-up process, the less you get. Now, I would rather have an on-off switch so I can test that for myself, so I could do a what we call A-B split testing, and I can test listings with all the blurb and without the blurb, see which gets the most subscribers, and I can decide. So I would rather have the choice. Um, it's not a big deal, but it's something that I would like to try because I think sometimes readers, more discerning readers, rather than freebie seekers, would appreciate reading more about the book of the author. And similarly, I'd like Insta Freebie to link out more clearly to my author profile. But again, the truth of online marketing is the fewer distractions a prospect has, the more or the fewer rabbit holes they disappear down, the more likely we are to get your book signed up for and downloaded, which is frankly what we all want. So I, I know the marketing techniques here, but I think I'd rather have a little bit more choice about these things within Insta Freebie. Whether I turn them off or turn them on is my choice rather than Insta Freebies. The other thing about Insta Freebie is I wish it would link with other popular email marketing tools. So by default, it's linking with, with MailChimp with the paid account. 
Um, but a lot of people now are using ConvertKit, Aweber. Um, I'm just in the process of moving over to MailerLite, but I have used GetResponse for years. These are all popular email services. And generally, if you want to link to your email product, you're going to have to use a third-party tool, which will cost you extra cash, called Zapier. I'll talk about Zapier a little bit later on. Now, at the time of recording, MailerLite is also extremely popular, as well as MailChimp. It's a free-to-use software tool in that you can get a thousand subscribers at the time of recording for free without having to use your credit card to even sign up for it and at the time of recording you can see it at the bottom of the screen there in the coming ups section of MailerLite they are promising that we will be able to integrate with Insta Freebie soon so that's really great we'll have a choice between MailChimp and MailerLite but it would be nice if it, it did integrate with a few more popular email marketing tools. However, I think that once they give you a choice between MailChimp and MailerLite, uh, and MailChimp now obviously has automation, which it didn't have before, you've then got two very similar tools. If you really hate MailChimp, I'm not a fan of MailChimp, uh, but I do love MailerLite. If you've got a choice of at least two email marketing tools, you know at least you're not stuck with MailChimp if you don't really like it. Okay, so this is how it works. I've got three uh, books. Uh, these are free books, remember, because I'm giving away free books in exchange for a name and email address. And when I get that name and email address, I can mark it to that person time and time again based on books in the genre that they've specified. So I've got three books. There. Now, The Grid and The Secret Bunker are perma-free books. So if you go to uh, Kobo, if you go to Kindle, they're, they're permanently free. And those two books, The Secret Bunker and The Grid, they lead to trilogies. So I call this Sausage on a Stick, whereas I give something away for free, and because they have cliffhanger endings and they're quite exciting books, you, you are then hopefully compelled to read books two and three, and that's where I make my money as an author. And that's why I write in trilogies as a self-published author. So those books I give away for free uh, anyway, and um, by using Insta Freebie, it means that I can bring them to the attention of people who read in that particular genre. Now, with Don't Tell Meg, at the time of recording this, Don't Tell Meg is currently on in what's called KDP Select. And in KDP Select, I am tied to Amazon for a 90-day period. I can't list Don't Tell Meg on Kobo or Google or, or wherever, which other outlets there are. Um, but I can give away a 10% sample and remain within the KDP select rules. Now I'll go into this a little bit later on in the slides, but just to tell you here that you can give away samples if you want to. So I've called it a sneak peek. It's not the full book, it's a sneak peek of the book. And at the end of that book, I then have what we call an upsell and say, so if you want to continue reading, click here, and then it takes you to the Amazon buy page. So I'm using it in this case to get 10% of the book in, hopefully to tempt readers to read more, and then saying, if you want to read the full book, you can buy it here. So always when I'm giving away free books, I've always got that message at the end of the book to say, carry on reading, click here, buy more. So I'm hopefully turning freebies into author income. Here is the grid on Insta Freebie, and you can see that to date I've had over one and a half thousand copies claimed through Insta Freebie. And remember, each of those one and a half thousand people people can go on to buy the Grid 2 and the Grid 3. And then obviously I, I promote my other sci-fi trilogy, The Secret Bunker. So through giving away one book for free to one and a half thousand people, I could potentially sell five additional books and make money from those books. Well, actually four of them will make me money because The Secret Bunker one is, is, is for free. So four of those books could potentially make me money. That's 1,500 targeted genre-specific readers who might read my book. Now, again, as a new author, often when you publish on Kindle, there's nobody there. There are no potential readers. So this is very compelling, I think, particularly when you combine the number of people with the low cost base for it. Here's Don't Tell Meg. Um, again, when I published Don't Tell Meg in March, right at the end of March, I had a readership in crime and thrillers of zero. Nothing. Nobody knew that I write crime or thrillers. I had nothing. I'm starting from complete scratch because I was starting in a new genre. Yet, as a result of a couple of giveaways, I got 1,203 crime and thriller readers. That's very compelling because I've got another four books in that series. I've got uh, Don't Tell Meg is a trilogy. Um, so from that free sneak peek, they can go on to buy the full book. They could go on to buy box sets. And then I've also got Dead of Night, which is a standalone. So again, what, what you see when you promote free books is you see 
that a certain percentage of the people who get the freebie will read on and buy the paid for versions. And this, again, is, is why as an independent author, it's often best to write in series uh, or at least to have one more book available. Um, so you get two books out fast. So you've got one that you can give away for free and one that you can then make your money on. And this is why I write in series because it's easier then to sell people through series and box sets. Here is The Secret Bunker. I haven't pushed The Secret Bunker as much because it's an older book and it does pretty well on, on Amazon. It, it takes care of itself on Amazon. But I've given away nearly a 1,000 copies there for free on uh, Insta Freebie. And again, add those together with the readers that I've got with The Grid. And I've just created for myself a rather large list of sci-fi dystopian readers. And when I write sci-fi dystopian books in the future, those are the first people I'm going to let know that I have got that book on offer and got it up for sale but also from that list I can probably find beta readers and people to give me feedback on it before I even release it there's many many benefits from doing this now I have just at the time of recording this video in the past week I've just concluded my third giveaway as a host one where I've invited authors to take part in my giveaway and I asked a couple of the authors who'd had some success with that giveaway um, if I could just share their results and Judith Lucci here, who wrote the book Chaos, and that was free on my giveaway, Judith sent me an email to say that she'd had 1,400 subscribers from my giveaway. 1,400 targeted crime thriller subscribers in one giveaway. Now, Ian Sutherland, a couple of these authors you'll probably know through the Alliance of Independent Authors. Uh, Ian Sutherland, you, I'm sure you'll know if you've been involved with Ally for some time. Ian got uh, 885 subscribers from one Insta Freebie giveaway, from, from, from my Insta Freebie giveaway. And um, I was actually a little bit disappointed in that because I'd, I'd had a few people who'd got 1,400 um, from, from the giveaway. And I thought, oh, that, that looks a little bit low to me, 885, which is quite amusing when you're saying 800 isn't very much. But Ian had just taken part in another giveaway before that, and he'd actually doubled his numbers in my event. So there's all sorts of factors about why some people get more downloads than others. Um, and I'm not going to go into those here, but Ian got 885 leads in a week. He was absolutely delighted with that because it doubled his, his experience in a previous giveaway. But here's something that I want to just mention about Ian, is that Ian sent to that giveaway. He was my top promoter in that giveaway, um, in that he was sharing my giveaway with his Twitter followers and his, email, his own email list. But he sent 3,787 leads to the event, which is the most leads, the most web traffic I've ever had sent to one of my giveaways. And he was using strategies in his, in his author platform, Sidekick. Now, I also sent most of my traffic in that giveaway, which was nowhere near as, as, as great as Ian's. Um, but I also sent most of my traffic through social media. So you don't have to have an email list to start with. You can actually do this through social media. And Ian, Ian got uh, certainly the majority of his early results in that giveaway just through Twitter. So if you want to know how he does it, check out author platform Sidekick and his strategies for Twitter because he was my top performer in that giveaway. Uh, and, and this strategy clearly works the way that Ian uses Twitter. And then finally, another author who got back to me with their results, A.A. A. Abbott, who is also known to Ally subscribers and, and people who consume Ally's blogs. A.A. Um, a. A. Abbott got 1,421 subscribers from my Insta Freebie giveaway. Now, the, you know, these are all potential customers. They're all people who, if they like the free book that they get, might then go on to read all your subsequent books that you've written. And they'll be paying for those, of course. They won't be getting them for free. So if you are an unknown author, no one knows who the heck you are, they've never seen your book before, I think this is one compelling prospect. So in Insta Freebie, you can set up your author profile. This is what it looks like, and I just want to give you some tips for this. In one, please add a photo. Now, because I've worked with several authors now, and I've had to go to their profiles and I've had to get their book details, I, I've learned a few little tricks about this. And one of the things I would say to you is, please, 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 put a photo on your author profile. Now, I know a lot of authors are a little bit shy about this, but I'm I'm really strict about this stuff. Find one photo. It doesn't have to be with the kids or the family. It could be with a neutral background, as my mine is there. You can't tell where I am. But please, just get one author photo so that we can see who you are. I have people hiding behind all sorts of things, using soft focus, black and white, but 
give us one decent picture of you. You know, we're not going to be able to track you down by satellites, but I think as an author, it's really good to see your face and see who you are. And I think that readers generally want to get a feel for who's writing the books. They want to get enthusiastic about you and learn more about you. So you don't have to give private stuff away to do that. You know, there's nothing, we're not compromising anything here, even if you are a bit shy about this stuff. Write an enticing bio in two there. You know, get people excited and add some cross-promotional links there so that you can send people to your blog and, and to other, you know, maybe your Amazon author page, things like that. Please make sure that you use the relevant genre listings. You'll see that in four there, I've used my genre listings um, because we want to get found by, this is the joy of a huge community like InstaFreebie, we need to get found by the right genre readers get our books into the hands of the right people. Uh, do use your social media links, please. Facebook, Twitter, and a link to your website, because this is how we, we get deeper, we, we form deeper rela relationships with people who are checking us out here by getting them to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter and checking out our website. It's important that we connect with them across different platforms, not just Insta Freebie. And then also, just I want you to consider this whole author profile is like having a billboard at a very busy road junction. It's a fantastic uh, outlet for us. You can have all about you, your author picture there, and all the books that you're listing for free. It's a fantastic resource that InstaFreebie gives you. And remember, this can be found in the search engines, in Google. So just a little nag about this, put your author image on. You know, get over this shyness, this author shyness, all of us, however shy we are, can have one author image in a neutral environment. And then use that image across your Twitter, your Facebook accounts, and that then effectively becomes your brand, like your logo. You don't have to have a lot of images. You don't have to have images of family holidays or anything like that, but please, you need to get into the mindset of being a marketer as an indie author. And you know, hiding your face is not gonna help with that. So uh, another little tip with Insta Freebie is if if your book is genuinely only available for free on Insta Freebie, use the little exclusive tag, and you can see it with Don't Tell Meg there. So I used the exclusive tag because the only place that you could get that sneak peek, that ten percent, was on Insta Freebie. It wasn't available anywhere else, and you could only buy the book. The book was three ninety nine on Amazon. So it wasn't even available on Amazon. You had to go to Insta Freebie to get that 10% sampler. So in that case, I use the exclusive tab and it just makes your listing stand out a little bit more. Whereas with the Secret Bunker and the Grid, they are on Permafree, on Kobo and iBooks and uh, Amazon. So I can't use the exclusive there because that isn't an exclusive deal what I'm offering on Insta Freebie. But where you can offer an exclusive, use it because it makes that listing really stand out with that lovely ribbon at the top. Okay, so the best way to use Insta Freebie is to pay that $20 a month for the upgrade and then add your leads to MailChimp. And you can see here, this is what I've been doing. These are my Insta Freebie leads as, as they've been coming in at some point during the giveaways. And remember that at the moment, it only works with MailChimp. This is the time of recording this video. It may well have changed by the time you watch this video. MailerLite is coming, and I would expect as, as Insta Freebie grows that you'll probably get more integrations over time. But at the time of recording, it is only MailChimp with MailerLite promised. The great thing about MailChimp is that it lets you have 2,000 leads for free and you can send 12,000 emails out for free per month. MailerLite is a thousand leads for free, and both MailerLite and MailChimp now give you automation. So they're both perfectly attractive options to use, and both of them recommended. This is MailChimp. You can sign up for it at MailChimp.com. Um, I've given you the stats there already. Um, it's not my favorite service to use. I think it's a little bit more complicated. I would recommend that as soon as MailerLite comes in, you start to use MailerLite. But the, the key point of using an email service is that Insta Freebie will deliver the free book to them. It's really important that you follow up with people via email straight away. MailChimp now offers automation so that you can, you can program, if you want, a series of follow-up emails for free, and you should do that. MailerLite is the same. So you should send them that first welcome email, and that first welcome email generally will be telling them about the other books you've got that are for sale. We need to keep following up, follow up, follow up, follow up, and we need to let people know if they've got our freebie that they continue they can continue to read our books, but, but those books obviously are paid for books. We're in this to make some money. We need to make a living out of this, all right? So don't be afraid to offer your paid for books at any time. 
So I've been talking to you about Insta freebie giveaways and I've told you that I hold Insta freebie giveaways, but what if you can't hold your own Insta freebie giveaways? What if you don't know how to set up WordPress and you couldn't do that? Right, well, this is really the, the focus of this presentation. I want you at the very least as a result of this presentation to number one, take a free uh, $20 trial in the $20 account of, of Insta freebie. Uh, and I want you to set up at least two or three events that you can take part in. And now I'm gonna show you where you find those events. Now these events are free to take part in. The only deal is, is that you have to promote them during the week that they're held on Twitter, through your own email list, on Facebook, however you can promote it, you've gotta promote it, that's the deal. But there's no cost to take part in these events. Now my most recommended source of finding these events is uh, the fabulous Mark Dawson, who has created these um, genre specific Facebook groups where you will find lots of people like you based on genre who are listing their uh, who are running insta freebie giveaways and you can just offer to take part in them and, and list your book so you can see we've got action adventure chick lit crime dystopian historical fiction fiction fantasy non-fiction humor kids LGBT horror all the main genre groups are in Mark's Facebook groups. So you should go to the link on the page there and you should join all of the groups which reflect the genres that you write in. It's a fantastic service that Mark's offering there. They're really, really good groups. And that is, again, if you do, don't do anything else as a result of this presentation, please go there and connect with the groups in your genre. Here are some other groups. Mark doesn't run the only groups. There are many other groups available. And I, if I'm, if I'm running a group, if I'm looking for events to take part in these are these are the ones that I currently use uh, these are the best ones they're all well organized uh, they're all busy they've got enough people in them to make it worthwhile uh, and these are the ones that I'm using myself um, so Insta Phoebe promos I put the links on the slides here it's run by Dean Weiss Wilson who runs a really really good group it's very very good it's well run uh, it's got lots of members in there look over 2,000 members that's probably gone right up since I took that screenshot because it's a very popular group um, but please join that group um, also, the Authors Group Giveaway Meeting Facebook group. Um, it doesn't have quite such a neat little link there, but you've got the links on the slides and you'll be able to download the slides after this giveaway so that you can access all of this material. Uh, check it out, join the group and see what's going on there. Um, and Suzanne Jenkins, by the way, uh, I also know because she has uh, taken part in my last giveaway. So she takes part of them and she sort of helps to organize them as well. This is the Prolific Reader, another source of great Insta Freebie giveaways. The link at the bottom of the page there. This is the Insta Freebie Books Share Group, 897 members, not as many members, but again, if you're just looking for Insta Freebie giveaways to take part in, you'll find them in all of these giveaway groups. They're all free, but you have to join them first, as you do with all Facebook groups, of course. And this is the Freebie Friday Group which is just one more group with a thousand members where you can find great giveaways to take part in. So loads of places to find these giveaway events. Remember what I'm recommending that you do, take a free month's trial of, a, of the Prime account in Insta Freebie, find a couple of giveaways that are evenly spaced throughout the month. And I'm pretty sure unless you know, you're in a really obscure genre, um, or your book cover looks appalling and nobody wants it, you know, there will be a reason why you can't get at least a thousand leads out of a couple of giveaways, uh, which probably you'll, you'll then have to take on the chin and say, mm, maybe it's something I'm doing. But if you've got a reasonable book cover, and, and a lot of the covers that I've put on my giveaways are not fantastic, but people have still got a lot of leads from them. So, so long as you've got a decent cover, you're a reasonable genre, you're going to have to try pretty hard for this not to work for you. So um, the other thing about giveaways is uh, make sure that you're using great promo graphics. Now, when I run giveaways, I create promo graphics, and that's what you're looking at on the screen right now. So I, I produce resources for my authors to use because it's to my advantage and everybody else's advantage if you wanna shift some books to have some nice graphics. Now, I, as you can see, I, I ain't no graphics design artist, okay? I don't, you know, I can't do this stuff myself. Um, I use a service called Canva, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com, to create these graphics. So if you're taking part in a giveaway and the giveaway host has not provided decent graphics, my recommendation to you is to go to canva.com and very easily make your own because the better the graphics that you're sharing on social media, the more books that we're all going to shift. 
and these are the kind of graphics that I provide for the authors in my giveaway events. And this is Canva. You can see the link on the screen there, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com. If you don't know about Canva already, you really need to know about Canva. It is a fantastic tool, and you can even use it to make Kindle book covers very, very easily. They look really professional using Canva. Uh, and it's free, by the way. You can pay for images that you need to buy sometimes. If you need to get the rights, the copyrights to, to use images, you pay a dollar a time, but I've used it for free uh, for a couple of years now. It's a wonderful, wonderful service. The other thing that you need to know about, depending on which email system you're using, is you might need to use a service called Zapier. Now, this might sound a little bit complicated, and if you don't like tech, just put your fingers in your ears for a moment until the slides change. Um, but I use Zapier. And so it might sound complicated to you, but in actual fact, I, I think it's really easy once it's set up. So because Insta freebie links with MailChimp only at the moment. I don't use MailChimp for my email leads. I use GetResponse. So what happens is that when people request my books in Insta freebie, the leads go into a free MailChimp account that I have. I don't pay for MailChimp. I've got a free one. And then I use Zapier, which creates links between softwares. I use Zapier to move those leads from MailChimp into GetResponse, which is the system that I do use. You have to pay for Zapier. So this is another expense. Uh, you don't always have to pay for Zapier. Some Zaps, as they call them, are free. But in my case, I do have to pay for Zapier. Um, and so it automatically moves those leads from MailChimp to get response. Now, if I wanted to, I could just go in every day during a giveaway, download the leads from MailChimp, and then upload the file into get response. I don't really like doing that because I like to make sure that I'm keeping track of who's unsubscribed and, and doesn't want to receive my emails anymore. And sometimes you can make mistakes when you do it manually. So I choose personally to use Zapier, and that just works better for me. It's a good rule of thumb, really, when you're dealing with email marketing to, to automate everything. That's when you're going to start making mistakes if you make manual transfers. So again, I'm not going to go into Zapier in any depth here, but Zapier just creates software. So what you're seeing on the screen there um, in those three frames with the, the chimp's head on there, that is just me saying to MailChimp, when I get a new lead in MailChimp, I want you to automatically move it to my proper software in GetResponse. That's all that's going on there, and Zapier takes care of all of that very painlessly for me in a non-technical way. Here's another big tip, by the way, if you're using MailChimp. Now, this has changed very recently in that MailChimp um, didn't used to offer a service called automation. You had to pay for automation. And seeing the writing on the wall with the new kids on the block, like MailerLite and ConvertKit coming in, which all offer automation. MailChimp's obviously see the writing on the wall and said, right, we need to offer this for free, or we're gonna become obsolete pretty quickly. And I'm really pleased they've done that because it was one of my bugbears about using MailChimp. So in MailChimp, you need to send, at the very least, a first email which says, thank you very much for requesting my book find out more about me on Amazon to drive those freebie hunters into buying your books. This is, a, we're giving away a freebie, okay? But it's not just because we're lovely, kind people who don't like to charge for anything. We're building author careers here. So from a marketing point of view, we need to move those prospects into a position where they might then buy a book and we can start to make a living out of our writing. So here's a little trick in MailChimp that you might want to know. Uh, it's a setting link in your MailChimp settings. So you need to click on lists in MailChimp. If you've got MailChimp, you'll know where that is. Number one, number two, click on settings. Number three, click on list name and defaults. Then, this is a little trick that no one seems to know in MailChimp, you need to click the final welcome email box. That will automatically, when you get a new subscriber in MailChimp, send them a final welcome email. Now, the welcome email that you get by default is rubbish. You need to customize it. It, uh, it's just a horrible, horrible email if you just tick the box and don't change it. And again, it's not obvious. This is why I don't really like MailChimp. It's not really obvious where you go to customize that. So let me show you where that is. It's here. So you go to your sign-up forms. Most people that I teach MailChimp to don't even know that there's a drop-down box just here. You can actually customize everything that MailChimp does. Most people don't even realize it. So you click the little drop-down menu in number two there. And then in number three, you can click on final welcome email and you can customize that welcome email. Now by default, that's what the welcome message looks like. What a lovely welcome to a new subscriber. Your subscription to our list has been confirmed. Come on, we can do better than that. 
we're marketers, we're independent authors. So you need to edit that little bit where it's got that dullest message on earth to say, hi, thank you very much for requesting a free copy of my book. I'd like to welcome you as a new reader and tell you about the other books that are available. And then make sure you've got a link to your Amazon page or wherever you sell your books. Make sure that you upsell people. Now, if you haven't got any more books yet, that's fine. Let's still do a cross-sell, in which case we'll say to people, there are other ways that you can connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, or wherever it is. So use it to get your, your hooks into people in case they unsubscribe, because they might follow you on Twitter, but unsubscribe from your emails. And if you at least make that request, at least you, you can connect with them still, even though they might have unsubscribed from your emails. But this is what I call valuable online real estate. Don't waste it. Use it and make it work for you. So my preference is, is that you tell them in that welcome email, that automated welcome email about other books that you've got for sale. If you haven't got other books for sale, then at least use it in a marketing way to get them into your social media channels so that if they unsubscribe from your emails, at least you can still connect with them in different ways. Now, this is where I send people to when they subscribe uh, to my emails. I make sure that they get offered the box sets. And I've got a special page online. You can see it. I've put the link at the bottom of the page there. So I use a page like this in my marketing systems, where when people get the first book, I say to them, if you want to continue reading, it's cheaper to buy a box set, even if you've got the first book. So I, I put all the little buying options there that they can use. Now, I make more money on a box set. So it's to my advantage for people to buy the box sets. So I make what's called an upsell. They get, they see that page and I offer them all the different options that they could use to buy my books. But as an independent author, you must not be afraid to let people know about your other books. You know, if you don't make money out of this, then you are a loss making venture and a loss making venture isn't a business. So you need to make sure that you, you don't have to do it in a big salesy way. Just let them know what's available, which is all I've done there. I basically, I'm doing them a favor by saying it's cheaper to buy the box set. It is. That's how I've got my pricing strategy. So if they if they think that they like the first book, rather than buy them one by one by one, which is going to cost them more money, I'm doing them a favor by offering them a box set and letting them know that they can get it cheaper. So you know, don't always think of it as sales. Often this is a good thing for readers who love your books. Now the the one book, if you've only got one book, then you've kind of got to use this um, to your advantage. If you've only got one book and you don't have any more books in the series, how can we turn that into money? Well, I would use what I call the sausage on a stick principle. And this is, you'll know this because you'll have gone to supermarkets where they offer you uh, a bit of cheese or a bit of sausage and you go yum, 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 and then you go and buy three packets of it. It looks like they're giving you something for free, but in actual fact, they're giving you something for free because they know a certain percentage of people will actually go on to buy the product. And you need to get into this mindset with your, your author career as well. So if you've only got one book available, you haven't got around to writing that second book yet, here's what I recommend that you do with Insta Freebie. Give away 10% of your book free. Give a sampler away on Insta Freebie, and then promote the full book. Did you enjoy this sample of Don't Tell Meg or whatever your book is called? Make sure you've got a link at the end to say continue reading and make your money from just having the one book. So give away a 10% sample, a 20% sample if you want to, but make them buy the full book to, to read the full story. Okay, it's just like sausage on a stick in a supermarket. But if you've only got one book, we've got to turn this into money in some way. So by giving away a 10% sample, we get a new email subscriber. So we hit the objective, but also potentially we get a buyer. We make some money in our author business as well. Now, I just need to mention, I did say this earlier, 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 <laughs> that I would tell you about KDP Select. If you've made your book Amazon exclusive for 90 days, there are some very strict rules about what you can and can, can't do. And one of those things that you can't do is you can't list your book, um, your whole book, on any of the other channels. You can't put it on Kobo or Google Play or wherever. So these are the rules that pertain to this issue. But you can, if you're in KDP Select, make up to 10% of your book available as a sample. So if you are in KDP Select, it's okay to create a 10% sample which you can then make available on Insta Freebie. You just can't put the whole book there. Now, I've, again, do your due diligence, you know, read up, and if you find any objections to it, that's fine. But I've, I've put the keywords on there, and I've given you a link there to the KDP Select rules and regulations, so you can be sure that you're happy with this. Um, but 10% samples on Insta Freebie are fine if you're in KDP Select. Just make sure you follow the rules. 
Another top tip here is that whenever you promote your full length book or other books in your series, please use a service like Books to Read. Books to Read is an excellent, very, very clever service. It's run by uh, or created by the wonderful people at Draft to Digital, a service I love because they're always innovating like this. And what these links do is normally at the end of a book, you just put a link to your your, your Amazon link, for instance. And then somebody might click on there and say, well, I don't read Amazon books. I've got a Kobo. Or somebody might say, well, that's taken me to the Amazon UK bookstore, but I'm in Spain. That's not the bookstore I use. And that creates friction for a reader because if you send them to the wrong place, they're going to say, oh, do you know what? I won't bother right now. It's too complicated. What this wonderful, wonderful free service does, Books to Read, is it allows you to create what are called geolocated links. So that if I click your your book link and I'm in the States, but you're a UK author, it will automatically redirect me to my home Amazon store. But also even cleverer than that, if I don't read on a Kindle, I can actually check a little box and say, actually, I don't read Amazon, I read Kobo or Barnes and Noble or Google Play. And whenever I subsequently click your links, it will automatically take me to my store where I buy my books. This is why I call frictionless marketing. Don't make life difficult for your readers. Don't make them look for your books. Make it easy. So my recommendation to you is whenever you're linking to your books, use universal book links. Great place to go is bookstoread.com. I've put the link at the bottom of that screen. Now, in the last 10 minutes of this presentation, I just want to get a little bit more advanced, but don't run away at this stage because the way I like to teach this stuff is I like to show it so that anybody could do it. You don't need to be a geek or a technical genius. Anybody could do it the way I teach it. I'm going to show you how you could very simply run your own Insta freebie giveaways. It's very easy when you know how, and I'm going to show you how to do it in the last 10 minutes of this presentation. So look at what I got as an Insta freebie giveaway host. Not only did I network with all those authors, wonderful to network, I got lots of podcast guests out of there, lots of people in my genre, because it let me know who are the big hitters. Because I'm running the event, I see who's got the big email lists, and those are the people that you want to build those long-term relationships with. But as a giveaway host, here's what I did. I put the Facebook tracking pixel on each of those pages so that that massive amount of web traffic that came to my giveaway, I built myself a targeted Facebook audience on those pages. I also did it for Google and all various other things as well. But Facebook's the one I want to show you because it's probably the simplest. So anybody who came to my crime and thriller giveaway, I, I built a Facebook list of 5,800. Even though they didn't get those in my email list, I got them in Facebook. I can now target on Facebook directly 5,800 crime and thriller readers. That is very, very powerful. Now, I only get that because I'm the host of the giveaway. Now, if you have a look at the box above that slide, just, just here, I can then create lookalike audiences based on that targeted audience. So I created an audience of two and a half million in a lookalike audience based on that initial audience that I got from my Insta Freebie giveaway. Now, these are really big targeted audience. Very, very exciting on Facebook. And I've got to tell you, having paid for Facebook leads and ads to try and get lists like that, I found this a much more effective way for me to build my Facebook ads. I really like this technique. I let Insta Freebie find me my genre specific readers. As a giveaway host, I build a specific uh, targeted audience and then I create a lookalike audience. And I'm doing that without having to pay for Facebook ads. A very good way of doing it, I think. I'd be very happy with it. Okay, so if you want to run your own giveaway event, how do you do it? What I've done is I've deconstructed a couple of other people's giveaway sites. I'm not going to deconstruct mine because mine are a little bit geeky and a little bit technical. So I've found some very simple ones that you could use for free that other people are currently using. And I'm going to tell you how they made these sites. So this is Book Deals Today. This is their, they run giveaways and you should check out that link at the top of the page. But as you can see, that is a book giveaway. They've, they're running a book giveaway there. They've just listed the books. You click on the books, and when you click on the book, it takes you to the Insta Freebie login, and it just works the same as mine. It's just not quite as, as technically complicated. So I want to tell you how you could do that for yourself. Now, first of all, in a previous Indie Author Fringe video, that's it on the screen there, I show you exactly how to set up your own WordPress site for free or very, very cheap. So if you don't know how to set up WordPress, it's in this video, there's a link on the page. 
It's a free resource. Check out that video that I recorded and I will show you how to create your own WordPress website. So you could then set up your own Insta freebie giveaway. The theme that that uses, the WordPress theme, is called the So Simple theme. It's a free theme, costs you nothing to download on WordPress. It's the So Simple theme. And they've used a plugin, as the one that you can see on the screen here, called WP Gallery Custom Links. That's what they've used to create the listings of books. You can see it on the screen there. Uh, the, the screenshot shows um, images of France or wherever it is. Um, just replace those for books, and it creates this nice little gallery. And all of those things are free. If you want to add a free countdown timer to say when the giveaway ends, again, it's really easy stuff. Uh, you could use code box uh, flexible countdown. There's the link on the screen there, another free WordPress tool. And before you know it, you've got what looks like a pretty complex Insta freebie giveaway that it's cost you nothing. It's all free using WordPress. Finally, if you want to put some social media share buttons on there, always a good thing to do. You can use add to any. That's what they've used on that previous page that I showed you. All of it's done for free. Here's another giveaway. This is uh, abam.info. I'm not sure what that stands for, but this is another giveaway. Again, if you want to take part in giveaways, check out that link anyway, because this is somebody who's running giveaway events. If you want to run a giveaway that looks just like that, this is how that person did it. They installed WordPress. Go back to my Ally how-to video to see how to do that. They use this table maker plugin to just create that panel of books. That's all that is, that, that's just done. They've uploaded the images of the book covers and they've used that plugin for free to create the nice tables of books. All of it's for free. Don't have to pay anything for any of that. And that's how you would recreate that giveaway. You could then be a giveaway host if you can figure out how to do that. One last tip, if you want to include the Facebook tracking pixel on those pages without getting over geeky, getting over complicated, then just use another free WordPress plugin called header and footer scripts. And then all you've got to do is cut and paste it from your Facebook adverts area, cut and paste it into this plugin, taken care of. You'll be able to track all your audiences uh, in, in your WordPress giveaway blog. That's where you get this. I've put a, a, link, a link on the page there to show you where to get your Facebook pixel tracking code, where to put it. Everything is on that slide view there. And I put the Facebook link on the slides there so that you don't have to go hunting for this stuff. But literally, in those slides, that is all you need to create your own Insta freebie giveaway. And that's where the real power of this is. I mean, sure, you can list and you'll do really well if you just listed other people's giveaways, but the real power is being a giveaway host. A couple of extra things if you do decide to run uh, an Insta Freebie giveaway. If you email Insta Freebie at production at instafreebie.com, don't do it at last minute, do it a couple of weeks before the giveaway is actually held, they will promote it for you. And the wonderful thing is that when they promote, the day they promote it for you, you get this lovely flurry of extra subscribers that come from Insta Freebie rather than from your contributors. So always make sure that Insta Freebie know that you're holding an event, they will, they will promote it for you. Uh, this is what you need to know about if you're running an Insta Freebie event. They do have rules and regs about how you set that up. Again, I, I'm not going to go through that in any detail now. That's on the slides that you can download at the end of this presentation. Another little sideline, by the way, of being listed on Insta Freebie, this has actually just happened to me in the week before I recorded this presentation, is Insta Freebie have contacted me to say that they want to promote my secret bunker book on their blog. Now, I don't know why that is. I don't know what, how they choose books, whether it's because they get a lot of downloads. I'm not sure what it is, but they've asked me to list a book. So I'm going to get uh, next week for a day, lots of free traffic from Insta Freebie just because I support their service, which is fabulous. You know, this is traffic and promotion that money can't buy. It's just a fabulous side benefit of being involved with Insta Freebie. So just to finish off then, here are my Insta Freebie tips for you. I hope you found this inspirational. Please, at the very least, at least take part in these giveaways. And, I, and, and really, you know, if you really want to build things very fast and very powerfully, then try and host your own Insta Freebie giveaway event. But these are my tips. This is what I've learned from, from doing this. At the very least, take part in them. Start building your email list very, very cheaply. If you've had disappointments with Amazon ads and Facebook ads, if you've just found the expense too great, please give this a try. It really works and it's so cheap and it can be absolutely free. 
I recommend looking for giveaways which have 15 to 40 authors. Now I found this the sweet spot. You'll see some giveaways have got like 100 authors taking part. Now, if you if you think about that from the, the book seeker's point of view, to get all of those books, you're gonna to have to subscribe to 100 lists. Wow, no thank you very much. So I think the sweet spot is about 15 to 40, where it's not too many, but it's not too few. So 15 to 40. If you've got too few authors taking part in a giveaway, unless they've all got very big email marketing lists, it's just not gonna get enough traffic. So you need enough people taking part to get a bit of traction. Um, so I reckon 15 to 40, in my experience, is the sweet spot there. Again, too many books listed, you get lost in the crowd. If you have a list that's big enough, over 2,000 or 3,000, try and find big hitters, you know, people who've got lists the same size as you. So not people who've only got a list of 100 and 200. Go for people who've got lists the same size as you and try and get together with them and hold your own events because you get a lot of traction then with a lot of big email marketing lists. I call those power hitters. That was what my last event was, incidentally. I gathered a team of 15 power hitters, people with really big lists. And the, the way I found those people was by holding my own events. I looked, basically, I was looking at how well people did, and I approached the people with the, who, who did the best in the giveaway, got some extras with big lists, and, and created a really big event that sent an awful lot of traffic. And I call those people power hitters. Never be afraid to promote your books, all right? We're not just giving away free books because we're lovely people. We're giving away free books because we're trying to make a living out of this. We're trying to get our books discovered so that we can sell books in future. And the other thing is, is don't get too worried if people unsubscribe. They're just not a right fit for you, or they were just after a freebie. You know, if you do something terribly wrong and, and too many people unsubscribe, then clearly you've got to look at what you're doing. But unsubscribers are just a part of life, email marketing. Don't don't worry about just a couple of unsubscribes every time you send an email out. This is just people self-selecting. They're not quite the right fit for you if they unsubscribe. If you've only got one book, give away a 10% extract and promote the full version of the book with a message at the end saying, carry on reading, want to continue reading, that call to action at the end of the book. Use geo-targeted links to promote your books. It makes it much easier for people to buy from you. Don't make them hunt for where they need to buy your books. Put those links there so it makes it easy to continue reading. Please, if you can, learn how to host Insta Freebie giveaways. Follow the information on this page. Use the recommended resources, do it for free. But the best place to be, if you can do that, if you've got the technical skills to do that, is to be a giveaway organizer. It really is the best place to be. I hope that you found this inspirational at different levels. I know that not everybody's going to run their own giveaway, but I hope at least you will try your hand at Insta Freebie giveaways. They really are very, very powerful. And if you're struggling just to get those first readers on your books, this really is the way to do it. And it's cheap or free. And that's got to be good as independent authors, where we're all strapped for budget. We all want to spend the money we've got on our covers and on editing. And if we can create great marketing results like Insta Freebie gives us, that really is a benefit to us as indie authors. Final bit of reading for you. Uh, another author, Catherine Hayton, has written a great article on Insta Freebie. Uh, it's on the Ally blog. That's the link at the top of the page. Uh, read Catherine's experiences. And Catherine um, has had different experiences to me, but will pretty well endorse what I've said as well. So please check out that article too. And finally, I've created a resources page for you. It's at paulteague.com slash ally3, ally3. If you go to that link, navigate directly to that link, you'll be able to get the resources and the slides download for this page. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. If you want to find out more about the training and the support that I give for indie authors, please check out the link at the bottom of that page, which is selfpublishingacademy.com. But in the meantime, I hope to see you on Insta Freebie very, very soon.